The first time that we did a cover, it was Vogue, and that was the day that I cut bangs. And I'd never had bangs before, and it ended up completely changing the way that I looked for the next two years. You know, when people will look back on that album and that touring cycle, there's they'll think of that hairstyle. There. There's a little bit well, of that shit. You remember how funny it was that I was like trying to put fake uh, bangs and you said, well, why don't we just cut, cut it? it. Yeah. Sweater, Sweater tank. tank. You are. Hello. Hello. I think you could totally do that. I, I, I would love to. This are you great. okay with that? Yeah, I love okay. it. Okay. Right. Well, I think we've done brilliantly. So let's go and do the cover and see what Mario thinks about that. Awesome. Is there a particular look for this new album? Well, I cut my hair. So I've never had short hair before. That's a big theme in the album. But playing around with more kind of 80s and 90s inspired styles, mixing them with classic, has been kind of the style for the new record. It's funny how the 80s doesn't seem to stop inspiring us, no? It's yeah, like, it was so when, daring. But when I went through the 80s, I thought it was so ugly. And <laughs> when I look back now, I think, how interesting, because sometimes from ugliness comes a lot of beauty. Nostalgia works this way. You know, whether you're thinking about a decade or an old relationship or whatever, a period of your life, in looking backwards, you only see the highlight reel. Oh, exactly, you only pick things. up what, what was good. And I guess that's what's happening to you guys, that you're not looking at the 80s through the reality of the 80s, but only what, almost like the cream at the top. Yeah, because no? I wasn't there. Exactly. So I just see the highlight reel, and we, I think as, as, as human beings, we want to fantasize about the future and the past.